What is going on everybody? Jay Hayes here. So today I'm be doing a review on a device that I was sent for the purposes of the review. Today we have another high end. I'm just gonna kinda jump right into it. There's really no need for me to fondle your balls and tell you how much I love you. Uh, what I am gonna do though is cue a little bit of music right about now. <laughs> What that is, is jazz music. You know, a little saxophone, a little trumpet, trombone, not quite sure if, a little tuba playing, some snare drum hi-hats, what? So the name of this device we're gonna be doing a review on today is called the U-Jazz. I'm not quite sure as to why they went with this name, but this is the same company that bought you the Soul S by Van and Dell. So this company contacted me after they saw the review, they said, well, we're interested in you doing another review for another one of our products. And this is, again, this is one of those high-end devices. I feel that there is a lack of reviews for high-end devices. So this is kind of just something I'll fill the gap in. I don't mind. I don't mind being unique. My mom always told me I was special and all the people that beat me up always told me I was different and retarded. So I guess it just works. Okay. I'm not even quite sure if this is called the U-Jazz. I I might have made the U up. So it's not called the U-Jazz. It's just called the Jazz. You could see how I got the U though, right? This device comes out of the company, company, Croatia, because Croatia is a company of everywhere. This device comes from a country called Croatia. I don't want to get into geography or biography, geometry. I don't want to do any of that because it doesn't really have anything to do with anything. But the country that makes this is not really known for making high end. The only other device I could think of that came out of Croatia is the Crow Vape and then the Crow Addy, the whole Crow series. Absolutely adored the Crow Vape. When he had asked me if I wanted to do a review on this, he sent me a bunch of different little peripherals. We have top caps, drip tips, O-rings. I have a buffet bag of all different assortments and treats that you could use with the device to make it accommodate the matching situation that you have on your mod already. Also, the good thing is, is I didn't do a review when I first got this, and then a couple weeks later they had announced the top airflow situation, which pumps me up. Because usually top airflow means that the dripper is not going to leak. More often than not, though, just because something's top airflow doesn't mean that the top of the coils is what's going to get airflow. It just means that the airflow is coming in from the top, going down the side of the chimney, the chamber, hitting the coils on the side or underneath, depending on what device we're talking about. This is the second rendition of the Soul S by Van and Dell called the Jazz RDA. So without further ado, let's flip it. All right, guys, so what we're looking at is the Jazz RDA by Van and Dill. You'll see it down here on the bottom. In one of these boxes, it's going to have the top airflow configuration versus the other box that is just going to have the dripper and all the stuff that comes with the stock dripper. Looking at the front of the box is going to say Van and Dell down here on the bottom. Jazz. Z-Boba. No? Okay. That's it. No scratch and sniff. It's probably at that point where most people are going to leave because there's no scratch and sniff. Inside the box, you're going to have a peripheral bag, which has an Allen key, a bunch of extra post screws, and then a studded 510 pin. So if you don't want to use the squonk pin that's in there already, when you get it, you're able to use just the pin itself to make it just a regular dripper. So as always with all of the squonk pins that I have, I have a little cylindrical storage department that has pins from every single dripper. There is so many in there and none of them are the same. The way that this is configured is not painted that way. When they're saying media blasted or sand blasted, it's a certain way of modifying the feel and material on the top side of that material. However, what you'll see is on the inside of this, you will also see that it's media blasted. And it has a weird gray look to it with a very awkward and proprietary drip tip configuration. The drip tip that's on here is proprietary size. Now you can buy different drip tip configurations for this. I'm not quite sure if you already have a drip tip that would fit this because it's larger than an A10. It's smaller than a wide bore cap. This is a 22 millimeter cap by itself. So it's gonna be a little bit difficult for you to find. And going with a white and a gray configuration, they're definitely doing stuff outside of the box that's different than every other company that's making drippers. On the new 
rendition, the jazz, the airflow is that much more vast, has kind of an upside down smile going on or a frown. Also, the drip tip configuration has changed. This is a 510 configuration versus this that is proprietary. Really nothing going on on the inside. The decks is where it kind of changes up a little bit. Same configuration with the multiple portholes. Now the actual configuration between the posts or post ports are exactly the same. What is different is the airflow on the side. What they did with the airflow is they made it more vast and more at a downward position. The air Airflow on the original Soul S is kind of a straight shot, very, very minuscule, not a super tight draw. The airflow on this one is that much more massive. I feel they went this route just because there are people that are utilizing devices like this that are single coil or multiple coil, like a lot of airflow, and they like big coils. The way that you could build this is just in the same as the original. This whole side with the insulator is going to be a positive. So you could do one coil directly down the center, just really big legs. You can also do it where the coils although a little bit difficult to set in you could do one coil two coil three coil what i did in the original soles is i did one leg one leg and then they both met up here in the center and it was a straight shot with the original they didn't have a cutout for the jig so you really had to get something in there and then fish it about with an allen key but what they did in the new one is now there's a whole cutout for it that's a four millimeter and it fits with a lot of room if you have accessories for the original Soul S, they will be cross compatible with the Jazz RDA. And vice versa, if you have something with the Jazz RDA that you want to fit on the Soul, you're able to do that as well. What I did originally was take the different color configurations that they sent me and then mix the match. This is the green chimney with the black base and then the black drip tip. And then I have an Ultim. However, it's gonna be very difficult for me to utilize any of this because of the top cap configuration that they sent me. What we're looking at is two more top caps you have an ultim rendition which is just a regular top cap just like the other ones i just showed you and then you have a top one this is the one that super pumps me up absolutely revved up then on the top that's going to come off there's little grooves cut out for the top cap so over here you're going to see the airflow is going to travel down the side through the airflow and then come up through the top and the top cap actually matches that. And if you want to cut that down, you're able to cut the airflow down by twisting the cap. O-rings on the inside are very, very, very stiff. You do have to break them in, put a little bit of juice, a little bit of VG on there, and you'll be good to go. So let's put a build inside of the Jazz. <laughs> really nice those grooves cut in the side are just a really nice touch Let's just go ahead and close your eyes good job so I've been on this kick lately where I've been using a lot of the hobo 3.1 So what's really nice with this is these cutouts. I mean, they're super, super sexy. You can put a really big jig in there, allowing you to bring that coil down. That was one of the fallbacks I had with the Soul S is because the walls were in the way, you weren't able to bring it down. If you utilize the cap that comes with this, this guy, you may be prone to leaking because it is kind of low set. You shouldn't be really holding down the squonk when you're filling this up. But the glory of this is if I use this one, no matter how much I squonk it, See that? 
That is the top airflow by Vanandel for the Jazz RDA. Now you are able to use the same exact top airflow with the original Soul S if you so choose. The only problem you may have with this top cap versus the other one is even though when you squonk, it's not going to overfill, you may get a little bit of juice in this situation here because there really is no way for that to get sucked back into the chamber like you see there. I was looking at this and I was trying to figure out what it is that it exactly reminded me of, and it was this. This is the Otis 25. Same people that made the Tenko and the O Jenny and O Addy. They're very different drippers. It's just that's what this top cap reminds me of. I, I know it doesn't really apply because this is side airflow, this is top. When they were making this, why is there cutouts specifically for this airflow? Shouldn't it just be fluid all the way around? That would just make sense. I guess the only reason why they would go with this type of look is because it just is intricate and it's different and unique. Again, the drip tip that's on here is Dark Matters. This is not from the same company that makes the Van and Dell dripper that it's on. All right, all right there, crotch vanilla. Back on the top with the Jazz by Van and Dell sitting on top of the Lizard box mod. Looking sort of like an Otis 25. Let me show you some of the vape production. Here we go. 44.5 watts on a 0.78. First impressions with this right off the jump is the amount of airflow versus the flavor is phenomenal. It's not saying that there's a lot of airflow in this because I don't feel like there really is that much. Again, on the same token, if you were to put just regular round in here, giving it less room inside the center of the chamber, you're going to get more airflow. So depending on how big it is inside, that's what she said, not to me. It's going to dictate how much airflow you have specifically with this dripper. Of course, that's with all drippers, but really, when you're talking about a single coil and you don't have a lot of build room, 22 millimeter deck with really big boasts, then you're going to be kind of cutting the corners trying to figure out how you could get that smaller coil in there to get more airflow. If you're using the top airflow cap or the side airflow cap, the airflow is exactly the same. The only thing that you're alleviating using the top airflow is going to be less prone to leakage. That's not saying it can't leak at all. If you do fill it up and you get a little bit of juice inside of the chamber and you tilt it to the side, it's gonna leak out. Which leads me into my next problem. If you over squonk this or over drip this, what's gonna happen because that's at an angle, juice is gonna sit on the inside of the airflow. It's gonna be a little bit hard to recycle. When I was down below when I was kind of squonking and you saw the juice flows going, there was a lot of juice that was stuck in here. There's not really a whole lot of things you could do to kind of counter that unless you use the side airflow cap, which of course if you over squonk it's just going to leak out of the side. It's not going to go down the channel on the side like it is on this. Up to recently, I've been trying to find a replacement for the Hobo 3.1. I've been using that thing entirely too much. And what I really, really like on it, although you can do single coil, I have really small fuse claptons on the inside. To give you a really good example, I have two fuse claptons at a 0.85. Really high resistance for dual. I mean, that's 1.6 fuse clapton, one coil. Because the coils are on the side like any other two-post dripper, when you squonk through the middle, it's very hard to leak because the juice has to go past the coils, past the cotton, and go out the airflow. On single coil drippers, it's going to be quite the opposite. Your airflow is going to be kind of low set. It's going to be a low profile dripper. So the more you squonk, the more prone to leaking it's going to have. This dripper, the flavor, it's phenomenal. It's, I think it's three times better than that of the Soles. On the original Soles, I gave it a seven just because because I love the flavor on it. I really like the build style. Exactly the same situation now. If you already own an original Soles, you're able to get the top cap that you would get for this to give you top airflow that will work perfectly fine on the Soles. However, if you're looking to improve the airflow, giving it that much more, then this is a good upgrade. If you don't have the Soles and you're trying to figure out, do I get the Soles or the Jazz? I would prefer the Jazz just because there's more airflow drilled into the side of it. One of the biggest changes on this versus the Soles is the groove. 
a lot of companies are forgetting to put this and I feel like it's such an instrumental thing when you're talking about rebuilding a deck. Having it being able to put it down and line up the airflow just makes sense. You would think that that would be common sense. Like this Castle RDA, same type of situation as a single coil, but you have to use an Allen key, you have to use a pair of pliers or tweezers to kind of low set it. It's not like it's that big of a deal, it just makes it more convenient being able to have the grooves cut in to line those airflows up perfectly with your coil. I like like this top cap, it's going to alleviate a lot of the leaking. Not quite sure as to why they just didn't make the whole thing around the way that the airflow is, because it kind of sticks out like a T-shape. It's more for aesthetics, but you could definitely see it and feel it. How would I rate this drip on a zero to 10? I'm gonna give it the same rating, a seven. I feel seven is very adequate. The posts are identical. The airflow is more on this than it is on a Sol S, but if you like the airflow of the top cap that's on this with the top airflow, you can use that on a Sol S. So it's really nice that all the accessories are cross compatible. It's basically them taking the original Sol S and improving on it and taking what people said as a consideration to make the dripper better and they made it that much better. Solid little device, and if you're looking for a single coil dripper, it's definitely a good option. I'm gonna tell you right now though, this dripper is not like 60 bucks. And that's where recommending this may be a little bit hard because people are gonna look at this and say, oh, a single coil dripper shouldn't be more than 50 bucks. This isn't made in China, this is made in Croatia by Van and Del Designs. Really solid little dripper, super cute. They just need to fix this little ledge situation and just make it flush all around. The drip tip that's on there is not from Van and Dell. That is my own 510 drip tip. One other minor issue I have is really the amount of juice that gets stuck between the top cap and those channels for the top airflow. I guess the ultimate question is, is if you're already on, already what am i from the south i hope that they make the caps for this in different color configurations because right now the only way that i've seen it is either pmma or delrin if they give other options like they do with that pink or that green or that black that's really going to appeal to a lot of people that like you know mixing and matching and flipping and flopping i've kept it real have you jay hands out